yet my Aquarius is rising and my Pisces is in moon yes today is the day the day I make the video if you still don't believe in astrology all you really have to do is look up transits during major historical moments everything comes down to the duality of the elements congrats it's not you it's Pisces season natural disasters terrorist attacks the reason your partner stopped loving you it's not your fault it's astrology's now i'm not someone to put astrology down at all i think it's fun to believe in and it can make for some really fun conversations with people i don't find anything wrong with it i sort of treat it the same way i treat most religions in the sense that I have no problem with any of it until you go too far. And too far is just where this man took it. If you still don't believe in astrology, all you really have to do is look up transits during major historical moments. Let's go through one. On September 11th, 2001, Saturn was in Gemini opposing Pluto and Sagittarius. Saturn represents structures, Gemini is the twins. Pluto is about destruction and Sagittarius is about flight. And an opposition between these planets is very conflicting and adversarial. And if you look at hard angles between Saturn and Pluto throughout history, a lot of destructive things have happened. Guys really blaming 9-11 on Saturn and Pluto? I don't know, it seems more like a Jupiter-Venus thing to me. For example, the next time these planets joined each other after that opposition was January 2020, and we all know what happened then. We're kind of still living through it. And you guys remember 2012? The whole thing with the Mayan calendar ending on that day. Like, oh, the world's gonna end. I wonder if 9-11 was in there. And COVID. COVID itself in 2020, the whole pandemic and everything. You, you guys remember that? Yeah, that was foretold in the stars as well. It's really crazy. What I find really crazy too is the amount of comments just wholeheartedly agreeing with him. And be like, oh my god, this is so right. Like... Jupiter was in Virgo in this season, and my boyfriend left me, and I, I just knew it was because his cancer was act- Oh, that sounds horrible. I just knew it was because his Gemini was acting up, and you know, that split personality, it just like- I can't even blame him, like, he cheated on me, but you know, that was his Gemini. That was his Gemini acting up. Not to mention, Pluto was right on the US's ascendant that day. I don't even- I don't know what that means. It's wild to me that people don't believe it when astrologers were so revered for so long. I feel like misogyny labels it fluff because women like it. No, no, I think it's labeled fluff because there's people like this and like you that are claiming that <laughs> things like 9-11. I can't get over it. I'm sorry. You know what it reminds me of is those old videos that would be like, The Simpsons predicted 9-11 and Trump in office. And then it's like some super coincidental scene. And then like a clip of Trump in office that was literally made after the fact and people are just like, holy shit. Was Gemini in Pluto that day too? Is there any way to know what will happen in 2022? I'm here, I can tell you nothing happens. Oh wait, there's a war. I really got a kick out of this one. Hey guys, get this. The moon affects tides and we are 60% water. There's no way that planetary bodies don't have control over us. I don't even know what to say to that. That's just, maybe I would take this stuff a little more seriously if, that, if things like that comment did not exist. That's bad. That's, no, 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 that's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. I'll just tell you that. Do me a favor, forget about the 12 signs, forget about the planets, everything- Slow down, man. I'm trying to take notes here. It comes down to the duality of the elements. It's pretty simple, you have fire and air, or water and earth. Okay, so fire and air, water and earth. Wow, sounds pretty cool when you put it this way. Fire and air signs, your fundamental drive is to create. You optimistically look to the future, which motivates you to take action, build relationships, share ideas. Water and earth signs, your fundamental drive is to preserve. You focus on security, so you try to make sure your feelings or your material possessions are protected. So I'm a, uh, what am I? I'm a uh, Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius. That's an air. I hate that that's an air sign. I always think it's water because fucking Aquarius. I hate that, but 
a creative looking at it. I guess that's, that's pretty accurate. Okay, I'll take your word on this one. And it's not just about your sun sign, by the way. So see if your chart is dominant in either of these dualities. Earth and water heavy people tend to be more reserved. Fire and air more upbeat. And if you have a combo of different dualities, good luck. What does that mean? What do you mean good luck? Sir, please, please I, haven't, I haven't finished my notes. Please, what do you mean good luck? What do you mean? Ma'am, I'm sorry to tell you this, but your son has passed away. Oh, oh no. What was it, the cancer? He was a dual sign, ma'am. It was just a matter of time, unfortunately. Oh, God. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. So you go out with someone, the whole night is flawless, you don't even have an awkward goodbye. And they never reach out again. Okay, now this one I'd, I'd like to see. I have been getting my fair share of ghosts. I'm curious what this guy has to say about, about the current state of ghosting. If you've had that happen to you since February 18th, congrats. It's not you, it's Pisces season. It's not me, it's Pisces season? What is it? I'm not a Pisces. Why am I doing it? But it's really gotten worse since March 9th when Mercury, the planet of communication, also went into Pisces, joining Jupiter, Neptune, and the Sun. People are just disappearing no matter how great the date was because Pisces makes us want to retreat from reality. Pisces makes us want to... So, in during these seasons, during, like, Pisces season, does everyone feel this way? It's not just Pisces, it's just this general season? I'm... I'm taking notes, man. I'm taking notes. So, even though I'm not a Pisces, I, the season affects me. Okay, okay. Duly noted. So your date is probably still into you, they're just not sure what planet they're on at the moment. But we're awkwardly trying to text them a lot because Mars and Venus are in Aquarius. So the urge to communicate is there, but so is the urge to vanish. When Jupiter's in Venus, and Pluto's in Earth, and my Gemini is in Virgo, I just, you know, people be ghosting. Maybe by Aries season they'll contact you again, or they'll just find someone new. I totally knew this would happen, I just need to find another Scorpio. Or they'll just find someone new. Come on, there just had to be Pisces season while we were talking, man. If only it was Aquarius season. If it was Aquarius season, she wouldn't have ghosted me. Man, I guess what can you do, man? When Virgo's in Moon and, and the Earth is in Jupiter, uh, it's just people be ghosting. You know, I, I genuinely love to learn more about my own sign. So why don't we take a look at some Aquarius talk? So Aquarius, you are headed towards a little bit of success this month. We got a mustache beanie dude too doing this. This is one of my own. I mean, I'm not in the beanie right now, but you know. Um, there seems to be some really good energy headed your way, and you're really operating on your own wavelength in January, but you do seem to be a little intimidated by what you might think is expected of you because you're taking up this sort of really sort of regal energy. It's what it feels like. Trust yourself and just go with the flow, Aquarius. You got this. Yeah, these job rejections I've been getting for the past three months have been, I've been really on my own wavelength, bro. It's, it's pretty great. The only way I would believe in, in this... This fortune telling is if he's lying to make me feel better because this year's been pretty horrible for me. Aww. You guys know I don't lie. This works. Just film a TikTok using it. This W or K S S S. Yeah, I remember seeing a bunch of these when they got really popular last year. It was just a bunch of people being like, "Oh my god." I know that this sounds crazy and that these things are usually dumb, but I made this video with this sound and right after my baby took his first step, my mom's out of the hospital, I can breathe again, I just have a whole new lease on life. Guys, you have to use this sound. It works. You know what? I'm, I'm late to the trend, but wait, what harm can it do? Let's try this out. You guys know I don't like this works. Just film a TikTok. Wait guys, I'm getting a call. Hello? Mr. President? You're doing... You're doing what to my bank account? You're redirecting all of the tax money to my bank account? Mr. President, you don't... You didn't have to. 
I'm getting a Nobel Prize tomorrow too. For for what? Best best human? Not even not even just in our nation in the world. Best human in the galaxy? Wow. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Peace. Wow, guys. I guess it works. I can't believe it. Maybe I should scrap the video now.